Hello guys, greetings from Member Tronics. So today uh, uh, I am going to start one new series based on ESP IDF. So here uh, basically we will take uh, ESP32 controller and uh, we will work on ESP32 uh, using uh, Espresso uh, IDF, uh, which is uh, uh, in, in, I, IoT uh, in, Internet of Things uh, development framework. We can say we 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 this is the full form of IDF. So now uh, th this is somewhat different than the traditional Arduino IDE approach. So here we won't use Arduino IDE and also we won't go through any example codes based on Arduino IDE. So we will just directly work on ESP IDF. So okay, so uh, we will work here on some of the sensors, uh, some of the example codes first and then some sensor interfacing, how we can work on uh, sensors like DHT11 or any other sensors and we can also look on uh, OTA, how we can work on OTA later on. So okay, let's get started. So how we will uh, work on ESP IDF, so I I'll just tell you the uh, from the scratch how we can work on ESP IDF. So first we will just, uh, this is the Google land page and here we will just search ESP IDF Espressive Downloads. So uh, here first link you will get ESP IDF Windows installer. So you just click on that and uh, uh, here some of the options are there. So uh, if you want offline installer you can click on this second one and uh, uh, sorry third one and uh, uh, if you want some uh, related uh, some uh, uh, based on uh, this thing Linux if you want for Linux uh, then here uh, I don't think Linux based uh, installer they have uh, 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 launched so I I think only some of the Windows based offline and online installer are there so we will just go to the this online installer we will click on it and uh, here you can see uh, this is just downloaded if now if I will just uh, click on this and uh, uh, I will just uh, download this thing I will click on this ESP IDF tools and here we will click on OK and uh, we will accept agreement and uh, uh, so uh, I think it will take uh, uh, somewhat near about 20 minutes uh, to download this so we will just I'll just pause the video for a while and uh, I'll just wait for uh, to down finish the download so here we can click on next next and here install so okay uh, now I think it will take around 15 to 20 minutes so let's uh, pause the video and let installation happen so let it install so it's downloading still downloading So it's finished uh, the download process. So now we will click on finish. So it's adding ESP IDF tools to path. So let it finish. Then we will open our expressive ID. So it's finished now, as you can see. Now, this is PowerShell. So, here also, same thing will happen. Uh, yeah, it is also finished. So, these two things, uh, remember, guys, uh, you should finish these two things. Uh, one is command prompt and another is ESP ID PowerShell. So now we will just close it and uh, here we will see we have this Espressive ID. Now if I click on this 
I'll open uh, my S my S plus ID based on Eclipse. This is based on Eclipse, guys. Now we will run one. We will run one uh, example code, uh, and we'll see how we can run uh, example codes here. So I have one ESP32. You should also have one ESP32 with you to run any example code. So uh, here we will just click on launch. I am just connecting my ESP32 to my laptop. So it's connected now. So just uh, you just get rid of this welcome screen. We don't need. You will just uh, here you can see create a new makefile project in a directory containing existing code. So if you have any makefile project containing existing code, you can click on here. And now uh, what I need to do, we, ne uh, we need to uh, create one new e specified a project. So you can click from here as well. And uh, let me just do this. Or else uh, you can go to file and uh, here also you can import uh, you can sorry not from import from this new you can click on express by d project so we'll just click on this click create a new express by d project now one screen will get there we need to select the example code so here this is the project name give any name like test and next here are some of the example codes so create a project using one of the templates so yes i am just trying to create uh, one uh, source code using this template only so we'll just click on hello world okay and we'll finish it so this is the hello world example now here you can see uh, every uh, every project uh, whatever you will open there would be uh, to uh, see make list files one for any means of any source folder here we have only one source folder that is main and another is the whole project c make list file so this is c make list one and here we have project id and all everything is written so project id will take the name of the project and another c make list here uh, this idea of component already register uh, this uh, through this example code it is already registered sources hello world main dot c if you if uh, i will include one more file so i'll add uh, after this i'll add one more dot uh, c file so this is example code so we will just look on that so this is the hello world main dot c so here this is the in this a app main we have all the main functions uh, whatever the functions you can see here after completing uh, uh, 10 times uh, we are just we are just printing here uh, one uh, hello world uh, thing like restarting in 10 seconds so after that it will just uh, loop in till 10 times then again it will restart so here you can see some of the error marks uh, we can see so i'll just build it and it will be clean so first let me just uh, click on this and uh, if we will just clean then nothing will happen because uh, it's not built even yet so cleaning means all the object files we are removing now if I just build so all the objects files and all we will get here so this I am clicking build so it initially it will take a while uh, near about uh, 2 to 3 minutes it will take initially but after that any changes if you will do then it won't take much time so first time only it takes time so uh, this is the process so I will just uh, let it finish and I'll just pause the video again for a while and uh, let it happen. So configuring done and uh, after that here it will just complete the whole uh, till 1054. So I'll just pause this video. Whatever. 
so it is uh, almost going to finish now so uh, guys initially it will take time so let it finish so now now you can see after complete building process it will just uh, uh, these these errors will uh, we can uh, see this, this these things will remove automatically re be removed so let's see So it's 69 percent CC plus indexer. this indexer is uh, after rebuilding we will get this thing actually so it's rebuilding so here you can see all the errors uh, are removed so here you can see now everything is looking fine now we will just uh, uh, upload this code so uh, my ASP32 is already connected so in this uh, hello world example if you click here uh, first you just check id of target is selected esp32 s2 so we need to change this this is esp32 so launch target will be changed So we will just upload and first we need to select the COM port here in serial port we will select there are two COM ports one COM3 port is just uh, my system uh, uh, integrated graphic card COM port I think so COM4 is the correct COM port for me so you also have to look uh, which COM port you are getting you have to select that and finish it oh, again this error came because I think I have just selected ESP32 now Previously, it was ESP32 S2 was selected. Okay, no issue. We will just if we'll just build it again, it will be removed. So, might be it takes again more time. Yeah, it will again build all the things. So, okay, let's let it happen, and we will just upload it to the to our ESP32. Okay, now we will upload this to our ESP32. Uh, 
for uploading you just click on here and uh, it will just uh, uh, automatically uh, detect the com open com port so it detected now i'll press the boot button now it's just uploading here you can see uh, it's completed now if i'll reset this and uh, see the terminal you you can uh, you can also see terminal by clicking somewhere i uh, here you can see hello world com port and uh, okay so this is the terminal uh, here you can see restarting in 7 seconds 8 seconds 5 seconds till 10 times it will run and then it will print hello world then again it will restart so uh, this thing uh, I can also show you in dock light so so that you will understand in different com port also it will work in the same way so here you will select com port and ok and here you go uh, I think baud rate is 115200 so we stick to that only and again we will restart so here you can see it's restarting and again it's just uh, rebooting as we have called ESP32 restart and after that it is pending hello world here Now I will just close this. So this is the code, example code. In the next video tutorial, we will learn how we can uh, add uh, some of the files or add uh, adding up even a component. Uh, how what is component? How to add component? And how can we add uh, other C or H file to uh, any project, uh, any source folder? So thank you guys. Thank you very much.